Duties of Assistant Divisional Engineer, ADEN. General duties The Assistant Divisional Engineer, in charge of a subdivision, is generally responsible for the inspection, maintenance and safety of all way and works including bridges in the subdivision, for the accuracy, quality and progress of new works and control over all expenditure in relation to budget allotment. Duties of Assistant Divisional Engineer 1. Inspection and maintenance of track in a satisfactory and safe condition. He shall conduct inspection as per the schedules laid down in Table 1A of by the administration from time to time. He shall enter the inspection details in track management system that is TMS and shall ensure compliance of the instructions within a reasonable period. Assistant Divisional Engineer shall a. Bring to the notice of the DEN and Senior DEN any work pertaining to track, which is considered beyond the capacity of a DEN to deal with and any other item considered necessary for safe functioning of track. b. Ensure that the staff are fully conversant with their respective responsibilities with regard to laying and maintenance of track. c. Ensure that all remedial action for LWR and CWR showing unsatisfactory behavior are taken in time. d. Issue certificate once in a year before summer, that is in the month of February that all the LWR CWR in his jurisdiction are behaving satisfactorily and send it to DEN and senior DEN. 2. Track machines monitoring and ensuring quality and output of all the track machines working in the subdivision. A DEN shall a. Ensure all prerequisites pre-block during block and post block activities for quality output b ensure sufficient lighting during night working and arrange fuel all well in advance c in the eventuality of breakdown of a machine a den shall take all possible actions to clear the block section expeditiously if the machine cannot be repaired during the line block d. Inspect the track machines as per the prescribed schedule and check the items checklist laid down in Indian Railways Track Machine Manual. 3. Preparation of plans and estimates for works and submission of detailed proposals with justifications to division for sanction of works. A DEN shall also prepare special conditions, if any specific to site for execution of works, part of the works. 4. Execution and monitoring of works as per the tender conditions and approved plan and schedule of the work. Every work should be efficiently organized and programmed to progress speedily and completed within the specified period. A DEN shall ensure timely measurements and preparation of bills with prescribed test checks for ensuring quality and quantity. 5. Measurement of ballast A DEN may either measure and record the measurements of ballast or carry out 100% check on quality and quantity, if measurements are recorded by the SSEP way, in charge or SSE works, in charge, as per the practice prevailing in railway. 6. Coordination with officials of other departments as warranted. 7. Monitoring of inspections, works and other records of subordinate officials. The ADEN shall also scrutinize the inspection entries made by SSEP way, in charge, and JSSEP way, sectional, in track management system, TMS, 
and shall ensure compliance of the items, which need attention within a reasonable period. 8. Inspection and test check of USFD checking of work of JSSEP way, USFD, at least once during each month or as specified by higher authority. 9. Inspection of office and stores of all SSEP way, in charge, at least once a year. When checking stores, particular attention should be paid to the availability and proper distribution of impressed materials, upkeep and working of small track machines, engineering indicators, protection equipment and other important items in stores and records in offices. 10. A accompanying inspection by higher officials A DEN shall accompany higher officials on their inspections and shall carry following records. A. All relevant manuals, soft and hard copy, duly updated. B. List of permanent and temporary speed restrictions. C. TMS information dump of assets and inspections. Section details, track diagram, TRCOMS records, fracture details and analysis, inspection details of various assets, etc., in tab laptop. D. Important registers and other relevant records. E. List of sanctioned works and their status. F. Inspection notes of higher officers with compliance reports. G. Working timetable. And. H. Other specific papers and plans that are likely to be discussed should also be carried for reference. B. In addition to the compliance to above, SSEP way, in charge shall arrange to carry the following measuring devices equipment for these inspections. A. Gauge come level. B. Flange way gauge. C. Fishing cord. D. Tape. E. Metric steel scale, 30 cm. F. Tapered gauge and feeler gauge. G. Magnifying glass and mirror. H. Were sign measuring equipment. I. Inspection hammer etc. J. Rail thermometer. 11. Accompanying track recording OMS oscillograph car runs and take down notes regarding the spots needing attention and ensure rectification of the defects. 12. Control over expenditure ADEN shall exercise due care in passing requisitions for materials and tools and in the execution of new and maintenance works, ensuring in all cases that the expenditure is within the allotment or provision available in the sanctioned estimate. 13. Training of probationers ADEN shall take interest and impart training of all probationers deputed for training according to the specified program. ADEN should also periodically examine the training notes prepared by probationers. 14. Material under trial ADEN shall be responsible for monitoring performance of material under trial in his section and ensure that the required details for the same are collected as per the trial scheme and submitted to divisional office through TMS. 15. Dealing with staff matter ADEN shall ensure that a. Strict discipline is maintained within the framework of the rules. b. Service and leave records are maintained correctly and up to date. C. Appeals and representations are dealt with promptly. D. Selection for the various posts like mates and keymen are made in time and the posts promptly filled up. E. 
All senior section engineer and other staff working under him receive proper training in maintenance practices, safety and protection rules at appropriate stages. F. Timely supply of uniform, winter jackets, safety shoes, torches etc. to the staff as per the stipulated criteria. 16. Action in case of emergencies in case of an accident, including a breach, affecting the running of trains, he should proceed to the site by the quickest available means. On the way, he should ascertain the requirements of materials and men at site and arrange for the same. He should also order for the accident relief equipment as necessary. He should take all possible measures to restore the traffic quickly. 17. Ensuring preparedness for action during extreme weather condition. A. A DEN shall ensure that preparatory works have been completed and due precautions have been taken well before the onset of monsoon, summer and winter. B. A DEN shall keep the list of railway affecting works with brief history and list of vulnerable locations, where stationary watchmen are to be posted. C. A DEN shall ensure availability of required equipment and proper training counseling of patrolmen and stationary watchmen according to the extreme weather and remedial action requirement. D. A DEN shall ensure patrolling of track as per the instruction and patrol chart issued from division. 18. Inspection of ongoing works, of construction and other organizations, like RVNL, rights, DFCCIL etc., or authorized agencies, in the section as much as possible during foot plate trolley inspections to check quality of work and ensuring safety of the running trains. 19. Inspection of railway affecting works, raw, railway affecting tanks, rat, just before monsoon jointly with concerned state authority. 20. Relinquishment transfer of charge A DEN shall follow the instructions on Transfer of charge Contained in Para 143-147 to of the Indian Railways Code for the Engineering Department Knowledge of Rules and Regulations A DEN should have knowledge of rules and regulations as laid down in 1. The Indian Railways Act 2. Indian Railways Open Lines General Rules and Subsidiary Rules 3. Indian Railways Schedule of Dimensions 1676 mm gauge BG 4. Indian Railways Permanent Way Manual 5. Indian Railways Standard Track Manual, Volume 1 and 2. 6. Manual for Flash Butt Welding of Rails. 7. Manual for Fusion Welding of Rails by the Aluminothermic Process. 8. Manual for Glued Insulated Rail Joints. 9. Manual for Reconditioning of Medium Manganese, MM steel points and crossings, switch expansion joints, SEJs, and cast manganese steel, CMS, crossings. 10. Manual for ultrasonic testing of rails and welds. 11. Indian Railway Track Machine Manual. 12. Indian Railways Small Track Machine Manual. 13. Indian Railways Bridge Manual 14. Indian Railways Works Manual 15. Indian Railways Code for the Engineering Department 16. Other Departmental Codes and Manuals 17. Latest Correction Slips, 
instruction, and circulars issued from time to time, relating to aforesaid, a DEN shall have up-to-date copies of these codes and manuals with all correction slips etc. He should be well versed with the various modules of the track management system, TMS. He shall ensure that all the staff under him are acquainted with the relevant rules and working methods. Thanks.